Hey guys, today we're going to be talking all about peanut butter and hamsters. Slightly unusual topic, I'm aware. There's a lot of information out there about peanut butter, some of it true, some of it kind of true? And we'll be talking all about that, but as an added bonus, at the end of this video I'll also be showing you how to make your own homemade pet safe peanut butter. Sounds intimidating, but it is surprisingly easy. If you're someone who's been keeping hamsters for a while and you're active on hamster forums or watch other hamster channels, there's a good chance that at some point you've seen peanut butter being given as a treat or being used as an ingredient in other treats. Now if it meets certain criteria, peanut butter can actually be very healthy for your hamster. It's high in unsaturated fats, those are the ones also known as healthy fats, and are essential to a healthy diet. It's also a good protein source, and protein is really important for young growing hamsters, as well as it being low in carbs, which means you don't have to worry so much about weight gain. With just that information alone, peanut butter sounds like it should be perfect perfectly fine. Why, why are we even talking about this? Surely it's just a straightforward, yes, peanut butter is safe and it's healthy, go ahead. But not all peanut butter is made equally, and some commercial peanut butters can actually be very harmful to your pets. The most common concern you'll hear when it comes to commercial peanut butters is the potential that they include the ingredient xylitol. Xylitol is a natural sweetener, also called a sugar alcohol, and it's often used as a replacement for refined sugars because it's actually healthier for humans. But when it comes to our pets, Xylitol can be lethal. For dogs especially, Xylitol can be a serious problem because it only takes a very small amount to cause some very serious harm. Now you can see my dog Rodney here is a medium sized dog, he weighs about 50 pounds. It would only take 3 grams of Xylitol to potentially kill him. So we know it's lethal for dogs, what about hamsters? Unfortunately, there isn't a great deal of information out there when it comes to hamsters because well, no one's really done the research. But given that we already know Xylitol has a seriously negative effect on dogs and some other pets, I don't think most people will be willing to take the risk with their hamsters. Other than Xylitol, many commercial peanut butters also include added salts, added refined sugars, added colorings, added preservatives, just a lot of things that once they're put into the peanut butter, it goes from being a very healthy treat to being uh, not so healthy junk food. If you're going to be buying a commercial peanut butter to give to your pets, it's really important that you're only buying raw peanut butter. It's also called natural or organic peanut butter, but titles can be deceiving, so always check the ingredients. There should only be one thing in there. Peanuts. At this point, you're probably thinking, this is a lot of effort, this is a lot of information to remember, why, why not just feed raw peanuts. It's a very good question that makes a lot of sense. You absolutely can just feed raw peanuts. They have more fiber in them than commercial peanut butter because they still have the skins on. It's better for your hamster's teeth. The main reason so many people want to know about peanut butter and why there are so many questions about it is because it's a very common ingredient in homemade hamster treats. So knowing what is safe and what isn't is important. Also, some owners find peanut butter to be a fantastic taming aid. Now, I don't think I've ever used that when taming, but I know plenty of people who swear by it, so that may be another reason you want to use peanut butter. Finally, it's really important that I mention any potential risks that may come with feeding peanut butter because there are some concerns that people have. One of the biggest concerns is the stickiness of peanut butter and the worry that if the hamster pouches it, it may get stuck in there, may trap other food in there, and may start to rot. There are a lot of ways that you can avoid that from happening in the first place if you are really worried about it. The first method is to only feed it in very tiny amounts at a time, that way your hamster is less likely to put it in their pouch. You can also smear the peanut butter thinly over a flat surface, requiring your hamster to lick it up in order to eat it, which again, prevents them from pouching it. And the third way is simply to mix the peanut butter with a dry ingredient to take away the stickiness. Now this could be wholemeal flour, it could be oats, it could be crushed hamster biscuits, anything dry and safe for your hamsters. Okay, so I think we've covered more or less everything we needed to, and now we can finally get on to that recipe for homemade pet safe peanut butter. To make your own peanut butter, you're going to need one of these appliances, either a blender, a food processor, or a coffee grinder. Just make sure if you're not the owner of the appliance, you get permission before using it, as peanut butter gets a little bit messy. The peanuts you use can be raw or roasted, but they must be free of any other seasonings or flavors, so no salt, no honey, or anything else, just plain peanuts. You can purchase them in the bird aisle of a pet shop or in your regular supermarket. 
If they're still in the shells, you'll need to remove those, but you can leave on the thin brown skins as this will add extra fibre to the butter. To make mine, I'm using a mini food processor and 50 peanuts, which makes about a quarter cup of peanut butter. When you first start chopping the peanuts, the texture will look completely wrong. It will be crumbly and dry and so far from butter, but after a few minutes, the texture will start to change and become much smoother. However, it will also start sticking to the sides, so you'll have to scrape it off before you continue. After about 10 minutes, you should have the ideal peanut butter texture. It can then be scooped out and stored in an airtight container in your fridge for three to six months. See, I told you it was surprisingly easy to make, and this peanut butter is perfectly safe for hamsters, dogs, and people. Last, we have reached the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it informative. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if any of you guys make some homemade peanut butter, let me know how it went in the comment section down below. Did you find it easy? Did your hamster like it? Did they not like it? Let me know. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.